And indeed, Nigerian government have been advised to strengthen tax collection institutions uh, in the country as a way to fight corruption. The call was made at the 49th Annual Conference of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria in Abuja. Helen Osamede Aking reports. A report by the Corruption Perception Index, reported by Transparency International 2018, shows that Nigeria is the 144 least corrupt nation out of 175 countries. It is because of such worrisome statistics that the Buhari's administration has doubled its fight against corruption. At this conference, speakers emphasized that for any nation to achieve sustainable growth and development, corruption must be reduced to the barest minimum. Once we have these institutions, what are the sanctions? Because sanctions are very important. They make suggestions on how the country can successfully fight corruption, drive development and grow its economy. In order to ensure that we fight against corruption is at the level which is desirable, the following institution must always be strengthened. Number one, tax collecting institutions. I do not know whether the Nigerian government knows how much money it ought to have collected as against the money it has collected. Abandon the tradition of policy inconsistency, promotes accountability and enshrine the rule of law in the country. That is the time to redeem our image in the Committee of Nations. Participants are charged to be ambassadors in the fight against corruption. What I urge you now is that we should all see corruption in its true colors. This should provoke us to fight it with the same zeal and doggedness we deeply deploy in the defense of fundamental human rights. As accountants, we are the central figure as far as the uh, issue of finances are concerned. And if accountants are accountable, they play their role to checkmate corruption. This nation will be better and good place to live. The 49th Annual Conference of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria is with the theme, Building Nigeria for Sustainable Growth and Development. Helen Osamede Ekins, TVC News, Abuja.